Hi friends, this is Crystal from Homemaking on the Homestead. And today in Coffee with Crystal, we are going to talk about homemaking or keeping a home or just kind of some of the, the basics um, of what it takes to keep a home and create it create something that you really enjoy being in and that reflects your desire for your home. So grab your cup of coffee and let's get started. I think there is um, an art to keeping a home and um, it's, not so, it's, it's not something that everybody just naturally falls into. Um, I had to learn pretty much everything. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, um, my mother <clears throat> was an excellent housekeeper, but she never really taught me how to do that. She never taught me uh, some of the basic things that are needed just to keep a house running smoothly. And, you know, it, it's, it does create somewhat of a handicap, but the good news is if uh, you didn't learn either how to do it, it, it is possible <clears throat> to learn how to keep a home. And I think the first thing we need to do is just get that mental picture of, our, of, of the home and what we want it to feel like. And I'm not talking, you know, the art and the decoration, but just the feeling that you get when you walk in your home. Have you ever been gone for a few days and, um, you know, you arrive home and like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, you say, oh, there's no place like home. This is just amazing. You know, I have my own bed. I have my own kitchen to cook in, my favorite chair to sit in. It's so nice to be home. Home. and no matter where you've been or how great of a time you've had that's you know usually how I feel at least when I walk into my home and I think you know I, I've always called it my nest and I need to take care of my nest and sometimes you know we end up in a home that's maybe cluttered or um, you know you it's hard to keep clean or whatever your own personal issues might be that but these things can prevent your home from feeling like that wonderful nest that you are hoping for that you are searching for at least in your mind and so well, i'm going to talk about some of the basic things to help you create that feeling when you walk in your home and you are just so grateful to be there because it just feels so good and I think the you know the basic number one thing that we need to have is good routines and I think it's important to um, you know get up in the morning and make the bed and sweep the floor clean the kitchen up pick up this pick up that just so that we can keep our home looking neat and orderly um, number two is schedules um, you know there are scheduled things that need to be done when I had a lot of children you know my schedule was crazy you know like now I, I run my laundry through once or twice a week uh, back then I don't think my washing machine and that dryer hardly ever stopped and we were constantly doing laundry my kids all had their own laundry days I taught them how to do their other, their own laundry and they had their own day and um, you know and also on those days I would schedule you know the towels from the bathroom needed to be done or the sheets needed to be done from this room or um, you know the, the dish towels and dishcloths from the kitchen needed to be done on this day and um, but you know as as I have not now that I don't have children at home I have had to you know realize you don't have to be on that rigid of a schedule but a schedule does help that way you know that you are going through the house on a on a weekly basis and making sure things are dusted or making sure the floors have been mopped the bathrooms been cleaned up um, and and all those kinds of things are important there's also like seasonal schedules um, you know, you might clean your dryer vent once a year, check your um, uh, sp uh, smoke alarms a couple times a year. You know, these are all basic home maintenance things that can be done on a schedule. When I first started keeping house, of course, like I said, I didn't have any experience. <clears throat> and, and so I would, I, I would basically wait until everything was kind of a disaster and then do a, spend an, a day or an afternoon madly cleaning the house to get everything back into a neat and tidy uh, shape and only to be back in that same situation uh, maybe a week later where everything's a disaster again and now I need to put in that concentrated effort. And I have learned over the years that 
you know it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to be that way um, I think the biggest learning the biggest way that I learned that was actually by having a lot of children um, you know you're kind of, I'm, I was kind of forced into getting some sort of order going in my home so that we weren't living in chaos so I learned how to set up daily schedules you know weekly schedules I learned how to you know clean up the kitchen I learned how to keep things going more on a regular basis than this once a week put it throw it all together um, and so that was helpful but if my only motivation was children then of course as the children have left home one by one then it would have ended up going right back to the same state I was in when I before I started having kids so what I have determined is beyond routines and schedules which are all important habits that is the number one key to keeping your home neat and orderly is these are your habits um, you know if you take a book off the bookshelf and when you are done you put it back on the bookshelf that's a habit if you set it in a pile of other books then that's something that's going to have to be dealt with when you go through that weekly cleaning spree but if that isn't sitting if that pile of books isn't sitting there because you have the habit of putting that book back when you're done you know a lot of your work's already been done for you and it's only taken you just a few seconds um, in the morning after I get ready uh, for the day I will wipe out the bathroom sink I will get rid of toothpaste and hair or anything that's in the sink I will have I have a, um, a cleaning rag that I hang on next to my sink and I kind of just wipe down the faucets and wipe off the countertop just to keep it neat so that's not something that needs to build up all the time um, in the bathroom if I take down you know uh, something uh, off the shelf to use then when I'm done I make sure I put it back on the shelf um, even getting out of bed in the morning and making the bed is a habit it doesn't have to be made but it's one way that you can get your room looking very neat and orderly very quickly and it only takes a few minutes um, cleaning up in the kitchen I remember when I was a new house um, wife and mom and I would go in and cook a meal my whole kitchen would be a total disaster by the time I was done and I'm sure it took me just as long to clean up as it did to actually even make the meal and so you know over the years I developed the habit of you know do do your cooking clean as you go you know keep up on your dishes don't let those stack up and become an overwhelming burden to deal with so make good habits out of your daily routines and your daily schedules you can have that that comfy home that that home that feels good um, when you work on these basic things routines schedules and habits and that way you can always have a house that's neat and orderly and I prefer a neat and orderly house it's it it brings me peace it brings me peace of mind um, you know um, and in doing things doing those routines those schedules and those and keeping up on those habits are something that now I have to do before I can even move on to anything else before I came outside to do this um, I made sure that my dishes were done I swept my kitchen floor I picked up things that I had used this morning I folded some laundry and put that away um, you know all those things to make my house look orderly and then it frees my mind and it clears my mind so that I can move on to doing other things that I would rather be doing or that I that I had planned to do for the day the home is an extremely important place it's it's the center of your life it's where you come and go from it's the base of your living it's where good things happen and it's a it's it needs to be a peaceful place and it needs to be a place that you enjoy coming home to and it doesn't matter whether you work full-time or you stay at home full-time the home is equally important and the time spent is equal on it and making it a better place making it meet your desire of that comfortable home is is important no matter what that is what I wanted to share with you today on keeping the home and just some of the basics um, I'm really hoping it to go more into detail in other aspects of home uh, homemaking homekeeping in future coffee coffee with crystals
I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give me a like. That really helps me a lot. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, uh, please, please do so. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.